What's up, everybody? I uh, hope you enjoyed today's mashup. Appreciate uh, anytime fan love comes. It's just remarkable and it's always fun to give exposure to people that are putting out the work. I also love the topic of controlling what you can control. The enormous delta I see in the marketplace is most people just dwell about things they can't control instead of focusing on what they can. And I think this does an extremely good job explaining that. Do you know yourself? Or do you aspire to be something you might actually not be? You have the dream but you have to execute and it's just gonna take you time. Cause either at 15 you're gonna make it up and try to front, which is your vulnerability, or you'll just put in the work, put in the work, put in the work, and that's it. Like, it's just a process, man. Life is long. Like, you know, like, just put out the work, put out the work. We are just completely in this incredible place of unlimited options. I, I just struggle with people's inability to have perspective on where they sit in opportunity in a 7.7 billion person world. The quickest and easiest way to get to do what you want while paying your bills is to start sacrificing leisure and other things and start focusing on monetizing the thing that you want to do in the future. I used to drag through school by the time I got to 3.30, I was like, dead. Because I hated it. So you can't put in the hours unless you love it. You, that's why I believe loving it leads to the most success. Because I think somebody else loves what you don't love, mm-hmm. that you're doing for money. True. Thus, they'll be more successful because they're gonna do it for 19 True. hours. Now, there's talent. Yes. You may not love singing and you open up your mouth and you sound like Whitney Houston. That's real. You may not love, ba- there's athletes, absolutely, I know them who are not passionate about their sport, but they were born six foot 10 and very coordinated. So it happens, it happens, but I think that's the rarity. Your rank amongst the 7.7 billion people in the world when it comes to opportunity is ridiculous. (laughs) To have a special life, you have to do special things. And that usually means putting in the work and loving it. You take your advantages. Some advantages are experience. Some advantages are youth. You have to deploy patience. It's not gonna happen overnight. Right, that's what I learned from you. You don't I fing put out content for eight and a half years before anybody gave I have to dream. Please factor in what the world's going to be like in 2019 to 2025 versus looking at what the world was like 2009 to 2015. Way too many decisions by way too many people are being made in the, by factoring in the past without anticipating the future. Forget about Benzes and shoes and homes and planes. The ROI of life is not money, it's being happy. And when I look at the people that I see that are happy, regardless of their income levels or success or fame or notoriety or money, so much of that is completely predicated on the fact that either their parenting or circumstance help them have actual perspective to what the hell is going on here. Do you know what I wish for all of you 25 year olds in here? That you knew how young you feel at 40. News alert, you're gonna kind of feel exactly the same. I don't think there's anything wrong with chasing money. I just think that it's usually the quickest way not to get it. I am remarkably stunned by the lack of accountability in our society. Everything wrong at VaynerMedia, anything that ever happens, any piece of content, anything that ever happens in my life, 100% is my fault. And let me tell you what happens with accountability. You get real happy. When you feel that there's no other source controlling your all of a sudden it gets happier. Your ego and your insecurity doesn't want to take the L. You don't want to admit that you f***ed up. Because for some reason, so many of you are living your lives based on other people's opinions and that is crippling you. The way to really eliminate fear is by not giving a f- about anybody's opinion. My losses are mine. I'll deal with them myself. I don't need your two cents. You're losing plenty on your own. Patience and inner voice makes you unbeatable. This phone 
is more powerful technology-wise than the computers that Ronald Reagan had to run the free world. This thing, while you lay in bed from 7 p.m. to 2 in the morning, is your gateway to get out of the thing that you complain about, yet we'd rather watch entire seasons of Friends again on Netflix. The one thing that connects everyone here, regardless of you're winning, you're losing, company, employee, entrepreneur, the one thing from coast to coast that connects every person here is the one asset that we should all be chasing is attention. Before you achieve anything, whatever the hell you came here for, when you go and output to try to create your business, run for mayor, raise money for a nonprofit, no matter what you do, no matter what you try to accomplish when you leave this conference, the one thing that you should be chasing is people's attention. Before you can accomplish selling a sneaker or a cookie or a t-shirt or insurance or whatever you do, you need somebody's attention to tell them. Then your message has to be on point enough to commit them into doing what you'd like. Attention, my friends, is the asset. Nothing else is important to me besides attention. The reason I've always adapted to new content and new platforms, the internet itself, email, YouTube, Google AdWords, Facebook, Twitter, podcasting, all of it, the reason I've always done well with that is my religion above anything else is where is the attention today and potentially tomorrow, not what worked yesterday. It's, I, it's crazy how I feel my whole life. Never had peer pressure, never did anything, anything, ever, ever, that I didn't want to do because I just didn't value somebody else's opinion over mine. And that comes from good parenting, circumstance, DNA, a million things. I don't know how to teach that. What I'm just trying to do is I'm trying to become, in a weird way, I like being popular because I become your courage. I think the most flattering thing that's happening to me in my life is I'm becoming people's courage because when they take risk and they take ridicule, they point to me. And then I tell their parents to go themselves. It makes the most sense in the world to go high risk in your youth because you can live at your parents' house. You two and 19 people watching can live in a studio 21 deep. I know it, I lived it, I saw it, I watched it. This is exactly when you guys are supposed to take two core leaps of faith. Either go and do it for yourself or get close to something that you believe in completely. If you let somebody else's opinion, whether your spouse, your boss, your mom, your aunt, your best friend, if you genuinely, genuinely are living your only life, which oh by the way, by modern scientific terminology, is 400 trillion to one. If you even could comprehend how ridiculous it is that we are even alive, like do you understand how ludicrous it is that you have a life? There's nothing mathematically in life that can happen that is more ridiculous than the fact that you got one. You're more likely to get struck by lightning 14 times than have a life. Forward. Forward, forward. Mindset, all of that leads to one thing. If you do not become a practitioner of how to communicate on the social networks of today, you are 100% irrelevant. Don't like it? Tough. Figure it out, execute it. My friends, negativity can lead at halftime. Kindness always wins the game. Your life is predicated on when you get real quiet and you can't hear another person's two cents. The reason I can work 17 hours a day is because I'm not spending 15 hours a day dwelling or looking back. Faking it to make it is the great flaw of this generation. Please don't do it. Please stop listening to anybody but yourself. Please eliminate negativity from your life because if you want to really win, it is absolutely by reinforcing positivity. So get real quiet in here, get real selective about who you're spending time with, and most of all, speak the truth. 
do the right thing. Kindness is cool, truth is cool. Don't act like you've made it, talk about the journey of trying to make it.